Hello and welcome to the Petterscope. I am your host, Steve Petterson, and today is Fabulous Friday. That's right, it's Fabulous Friday. So I want you to say, I am fabulous. Let's celebrate your fabulousness right now by just moving around a little bit. Thanks for the love. Let's celebrate our fabulous. Woohoo! I am particularly fired up today for several reasons. One is that this is the 50th 5 0 episode of the Petterscope. That's very exciting. Here on the Petterscope, we are talking about keys to being the difference. This is episode 50 entitled, Love What You Do. Thanks for joining me all this week on the Petterscope. We're talking about love. And as I mentioned, there's several reasons why I'm excited and particularly fired up today. One being, like I said, this is the 50th episode of the Petterscope which is very exciting. Another reason I'm really excited today is that the sun is shining. It is clear blue skies out here in Chicago, and that always just cheers me up for some reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the other reason I'm really excited today is that my favorite author uh, in the world right now and favorite podcaster, Rob Bell, is in town and he's going to be doing a book signing tonight and he's going to be doing a live event all day tomorrow and I am going to both and I'm super excited about that. But right now let's get into our topic for the day which is love what you do. Now I find it helpful at times to kind of compare and cr contrast to understand what something means or what it's all about is to contrast it to something that it doesn't mean. So for example, you've probably heard uh, this statement at some point, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Have you heard that one? Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Now that's different than what I'm saying. That's actually kind of the opposite. The saying, do what you love, I'm talking about loving what you do. Quite different. There's two problems that I find with the statement, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. One is the assumption that most people are not doing what they love and therefore they cannot love what they're doing. And the second is this reinforcement of the idea that working is a drag. Why are we always trying to get out of work? What's wrong with work? That's my question. I've always kind of felt that inherent within the statement is the assumption that people are not doing what they love and that being able to do what you love is this elusive quality and we're fixated on this idea that we deserve better when really it's all just a gift and we have an opportunity to love it. Now, to one degree or another, maybe more so than, when, than what we originally have thought, is that we have created our own reality. The situation that we're in, we created that. And the reason that you're doing what you're doing is because at some point that it resonated with you. Um, maybe you've grown, maybe some things have changed, but at some point this resonated with you and you said yes to it and you created that. But what I think is interesting is in the statement, love what you do, uh, or even the other way around, do what you love, there's just kind of this assumption or this, yeah, this assumption that we are always talking about work or we're always talking about our job. And what I want to do is kind of open that up 
and say, love what you do applies to everything in your life. It goes way beyond our job. It can apply to a menial task. I just got a phone call. That was weird. Uh, I guess I've never gotten a phone call <laughs> during a petterscope before. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's get reoriented here. Love what you do. Um, I think loving what you do is an attitude of being fully present and engaged with what you're doing at any moment. I'm just going to close this out. Sorry, guys, I'm getting all kinds of things on my phone this morning. Um, now, let's talk about something else. If what you're doing is illegal, immoral, unethical, then I'm not encouraging you to love that. Uh, I would encourage you to get away from that and get to something that you can actually love. Um, if you if you do the the work or the chore, the task, whatever it is that's in front of you with sort of a half-hearted effort or a, with a chip on your shoulder, then why would the universe give you anything better? Uh, the way there's the song that I've written, uh, energy is everything, everything is energy. And in that song, I, I say, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. So if you go to your job and you don't love what you do, it's not because your job stinks. <laughs> it's maybe because your attitude stinks. Um, I, and I've been there. I'm not trying to preach and condemn and all this stuff. I'm just saying, hey, let's look at our opportunity, the opportunities that we have to love what we do because that spills over into everything. If you have kids, do you love raising your kids and being with your kids? I find it very interesting, the comments that I hear from other parents, how much they complain about their children. That blows my mind. I understand it's challenging, but don't you love it? Don't you love this thing that you signed up for? All right. How is this a key? How is loving what you do a key to being the difference? Man, it is so huge. People can feel it. Uh, uh, bosses, supervisors, managers, your kids, your spouse, uh, your friends, everybody around you. They can tell if you do not l absolutely love what you're doing. And it's a choice. Uh, and it's such a huge difference when, you know, because there's so many people that don't love what they're doing. And they think it's the, the circumstance. They, they sort of blame it on the circumstance instead of just taking responsibility and, you know, kind of with this idea of, and I sh I've shared this before on the, on the petoscope that, uh, this thought to, uh, um, never do anything that you don't want to do. And my initial reaction when I heard that was like, I would not do half the things that I'm doing. <laughs> and that's not the point. The point is not to not do things. It's to kind of wake up and just take ownership and say, the, you know, the reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because I decided to do it. I love this uh, quote from the uh, uh, Byron Katie book. Uh, she's got a, a, a book called Loving What Is, which goes obviously perfect with our topic today. It says, we are entering the dimension where we have control the inside. And that's what we're dealing with here on the Petterscope. We're dealing with the inside being the difference because we love what we do. We make a decision that we're going to love what we do, whether it's our job, whether it's uh, the dishes, whether it's taking our kids to soccer practice. We love what we do because we understand that it's a gift. So an action that you can take today uh, to help you along with this. Now, if you remember in the past, uh, past Petroscope, I talked about sort of a breathing mantra. And in this breathing mantra, uh, what I say is on the in-breath, uh, I am free. And then on the out-breath, I release. 
And so you can specify that and say, I am free to love what I do and then breathe out and I release any negative feelings about what I do. And then on the uh, in-breath again, I receive everything I do from the source and then breathe out, I give thanks for everything that I do. And so that's one thing you can do. Another thing we can do is just to pick uh, like a very general random object or color. So let's say, for example, it's the color orange. And we say, uh, kind of say to ourselves, every time I see the color orange, I'm going to remember to love what I do. And then it's interesting because then throughout the day you see the color orange, like <laughs> I just saw a book right there. That book is, the cover is orange. And it just reminds you subconsciously, I love what I do. Guys, thanks so much for joining me oh, on this episode, very interesting episode of the Petterscope and Keys to Being the Difference, the 50th episode. So glad you could be with me. Uh, I'm here every weekday morning at 8.35 a.m. This concludes our week on the topic of love. I'm sure we'll talk about it some more at some point in the future. But to catch up on previous uh, episodes of The Petterscope, you can check out my website at stevepetterson.com. Just look for The Petterscope's link there. And uh, yeah, happy 50th. Thank you for that, Stephanie. You guys, have a wonderful, fabulous Friday. Take care. <laughs>